what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Kendrick Lamar, one of the most decorated and talented artists out there today, sister took to Instagram to share a photo of herself inside of her brand new 2017 Toyota that Kendrick bought her as a graduation gift. Now, one might say, man, that's a great thing. What a great gesture. But you see, in the age of negativity, in the age of low lifes, in the age where we put a premium on crud behavior, many people took to Instagram and Twitter and actually complained. They complained about him buying her a Toyota instead of something more extravagant. Guess they wanted him to buy her a Benz or Maybe a BMW or a Lamborghini or Bentley or something along those lines. Now, here's the thing. The man just put out one of the biggest songs of the year already. He told everybody, be humble. So it shouldn't be a shock that he would buy his little sister a Toyota as opposed to a Benz or a Bentley. Here's someone that's actually practicing what they preach. Sounds crazy, don't it? So I'm wondering to myself, who are these mass critical people? Where did they come from? Where did they come from? I'm thinking these are some people who are sitting around on social media waiting for the next, next attack. Ain't got shit to do, ain't got no jobs, and just sitting around living vicariously through everybody else, especially celebrities. I guess it's true what they say, no good deed goes unpunished because and let somebody buy me a damn car. I got money. And let somebody buy me a damn Toyota. And you watch how I celebrate. I'm going to be good. Man, whatever happened to it's the thought that counts. Whatever happened to that. And keep in mind, y'all, a Toyota ain't no slouch car. That Toyotas make some very good, reliable cars. Me, as a person who have bought and sold a few Toyotas, I can tell you that there is something to be said about practicality and cars that are low maintenance, especially for an 18 year old. I mean, anything could happen. This is why some people who live above their means, the minute they run into any kind of issue, the people that's living paycheck to paycheck, any kind of little issue, they plummet. Can't take it. Can't recover because they're too deep in debt. If something happens to that Toyota, let's say, you know, God forbid, situation arise where Kendrick ain't on top no more and he ain't got the money that he have right now. This is a vehicle that if something goes wrong, the parts would be relatively inexpensive compared to a foreign vehicle like a Benz or a Bentley or a BMW or something along those lines. But these are people that don't work, ain't used to working, don't understand business, don't understand budgeting, don't understand practicality. They live outside of their means. These are those type of people. They're not even driving a damn car. They don't even get to drive the car. They don't get to ride in the car at all. But they're complaining about what kind of car he bought. Have these 
fools ever stop to think maybe she wanted a Toyota as a gift for graduation. I know it sounds absurd, but some people do have simple requests. Some people are okay with just the gesture of having something nice to ride and having a nice car, a dependable car. Some people are cool with that. Some people don't need the flash. Most of the people who are really flashing, they're living paycheck to paycheck or no check, no check. They ain't got no money. They, a lot of these people you see in these flashy cars, these damn cars are rented. These cars are leased. And so in fact, some of them may have had the car initially, <laughs> may have owned the car initially, but they hiding from the creditors. Ain't paid the damn car note in over a year. When you see people driving these nice vehicles, you don't know what somebody's story is. You don't know what they had to do to get inside of that vehicle. You don't know who they had to bump off, who they had to rat out, who they had to rob, who they had to steal from. You don't know how long they had to work, how many hours they had to put in to earn that vehicle. Some people work to pay their car note. This is what y'all don't understand. But some of these people do. They, some people do understand that. Because they live like that. I thought it was a great thing. When I first saw it, I was like, man, that's, that's cool. That's cool right there to me. Uh, you know, he bought his sister a car. Nice. Any kind of car. I don't give a damn if the car was used. How, who are you to tell this man what kind of vehicle he should buy for his sister? And who are you to tell his sister what type of vehicle her brother should buy for her? Like what kind of vehicle she deserves? That's the problem with social media. I love the fact that social media has uh, given people without a voice a platform to be heard. I love that aspect about social media. I love the idea of People who may not be too sociable can basically make friends and have followers and stuff like that. We, we understand it's fake, but you get to communicate with people and share ideas and, and you know, comment and share stories and find commonalities. You know, and it keeps people going. A lot of people look forward to this every day. And those people, I think it's a great platform for those type of people. But so many other type of people out there misuse these platforms and they get on these platforms and all they do is ride on people all day long. They got a shitty existence and they doing everything in their power to make sure that your existence is also shitty. People would have complained if he had bought her a Toyota or a Bentley. It wouldn't have mattered. It would have been about the same amount of criticism because there are just people out there who are just evil and hurt and low down and negative. They wake up looking for the wrong. They wake up looking for the bad in people instead of the good. This is how many people are wired. And the people that hate the most, they're the most consistent with posting and commenting. Positive people, people that got something going on with their lives, a lot of times when they comment on social media, they just get on and get off. They'll just make a little comment, whatever it is, and then they get off. And every now and then they might bust back. Somebody busts at them, they might bust back. But then they get on with their life because negativity, it, it's, a, it's a cancer. It's contagious. It stresses people out and they understand that. And if they get caught up in that, then they can't have nothing done. They can't get nothing done with their life. Like your sorry ass. You know what I'm saying? They can't get anything done. So, 
They try to avoid that type of stuff. It's some people out there, that's all they do. They're trolls. They're negative energy. It's just a bundle of negative energy. And they can't stand positivity. It eats them alive. So all they do is attack. People finding this wrong shows that a lot of people just ain't got no life. It's sad. The man told y'all, be happy. Be humble. That's what he said. Sit down. Be humble. That's what he said. Sit down. Be humble. Man, that is a lost attribute. It's sad. Kendrick Lamar, man, I salute you, man. I met the dude. He a good dude. Humble when I met him. That was a few years before the, the song and all of that. Good dude. Um, I got nothing but love for him, and I got nothing but love for his, his little sister. I'm glad she got a car. She happy. He happy. That's all that really count. With all you people out there that's complaining and got a problem with that, I'm going to tell you like this. Some of y'all who have a problem with Kendrick buying his sister a car, a Toyota. See, the issue is that Y'all complain about him buying his sister a Toyota. When you motherfuckers wouldn't even buy your mama a Big Mac from McDonald's. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas.